Okay, we're back out in the lab with Eddie, and we're gonna do some joint installations now, correct, Eddie? Correct. All right, so we have a few different joint configurations here. We have a wall-to-wall -wall system and a few head-to-wall systems. So when you have a scenario like this, it's best to deal with the wall-to-wall -wall scenario first. Uh, this is gonna be a caulk system that Eddie's uh, preparing. This time we're gonna use a our elastomeric sealant, okay, there it is, the ES. And this is a product that's been tested to UL2079 as opposed uh, to our through penetration materials. So Eddie's preparing that, we'll read through this system. This is gonna be WWS0051. This is good for an assembly rating of one, two, three, or four hours. The depth of sealant is gonna be different depending on the rating of the wall as we read through here. So as we see, this is a steel stud configuration with a gypsum wall board. We have one layer here, so that's gonna be essentially a one hour wall. So when we read down here, our forming material, it's optional, not shown in the system here, and we can't actually use it in a one hour wall, because if we read this, it's only good for a two, three, or four hour wall, essentially just as a backer. Uh, so you can use backer rod, you can use uh, you know, a polyurethane backer rod, mineral wool, or even glass fiber insulation in there in your two, three, and four hour walls. Now it's important to note that in your one hour wall, you're gonna need to have a depth of sealant that's equal to the gypsum wall board of five eighths. So Eddie, you putting five eighths in there? Putting five eighths in, buddy. All right, so he's putting five eighths in our one hour wall. If this was a two, three, or four hour wall, we read down this system and we would actually need a one inch depth of sealant in that joint there. So Eddie's gonna go ahead and tool it in. Again, just kind of a best practice thing to make sure that you get yourself a, a nice finish and a good adhesion to both wall substrates in this case. There you go. And this, uh, this system also gives us some options for some silicone, that gun grade silicone that we have if, uh, if you needed a, a W rating. Um, obviously we have the silicones for our masonry walls as well. Uh, but this one is our elastomeric sealant and it will allow for movement. So typically, you know, joint systems are in gypsum wall assemblies are built for movement. So this will allow you to have some of that movement. Later there, John. What do you think? Oh, you know what? Let me get the get the get caulk on. Just finish it. Sure. Nice and smooth. Get that finish there. And then what's good about this here is that we're going to use our spray at the head of wall, and these two products are compatible. So we're going to be using our elastomeric spray. And again, since we're the manufacturer of both, we can tie those two systems in together. Whereas if we had a, a, a competitive manufacturer for the wall system, you would also need to use that same competitive manufacturer for the head of wall. So make sure not to use that. Make sure to use STI. Okay. All right, Eddie, looks like WWS0051, and that S is for static. So this joint essentially doesn't need to move, um, but this is gonna give us some movement anyway. So the dynamic system, uh, we use that elastomeric, so it looks like we're good there. Well done. Very good. All right. Very good. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.